Hello everyone, welcome to another one of my Fallout 76 camp builds. This is my Pioneer Scout Ranger Tower camp, located here on the southern part of the map, uh, just below another popular spot, um, kind of to the east of Johnson's Acre. And I picked this spot because I wanted a really good view to build a Ranger Tower. There's a fantastic view of the mire, and I also wanted to be on some water. And so you can see that when you first fast travel to my camp, you start off in this cozy little campground spot with a little campfire. And I've got my uh, Campfire Tales tent here on a little platform because these things are impossible to place on the ground directly. And uh, really lovely view when you first wake up and look out in the morning. And as you come out of the brush around the corner, you can see the little pond that uh, kind of runs right through the center and turns into a little stream. And across the stream, you can see where I've got my vending machines. And up that cliff, there's another similar pond that's also a really popular spot for people to build. They're just really beautiful spots with great views, which is, which is what I wanted. Um, but the central feature of this camp is my ranger tower, which is right behind me here. So if you look up, it's obviously not as tall as the ranger towers you can find built into the game, but I really wanted to achieve a really similar look and um, wasn't able to get it up as many levels because you cap out at a certain height when you build, but um, I'm pretty happy like with it. The, the base here yeah. is surrounded by the Move communist fence, which was actually an inspiration I took from a real ranger tower in the game. I actually traveled to a few of them, kind of got a feel for what they looked like. And I just wanted the base uh, for my workshops to really look like the sort of place that, you know, someone working for the park service might have for their little workbench area. So we've got some, you know, outdoorsy tools and supply crates, things like that. And one thing you might notice, it's daytime now, but at night it's really beautiful. Um, it's all natural light, or, well, fire, rather. It's not electricity. Um, and so as you come up, all the lights are lanterns. And then I use a couple of, of candles, but I really wanted this to, to look like a real fire tower or a watchtower. So of course we have our Pioneer Scouts banner here. Um, and the interior, I really just wanted to have a lot of a kind of a natural history feel. And so you'll see lots of um, animals, plants, I just really wanted it to look like a couple of uh, Pioneer Scout leaders just took refuge here after the bombs fell. And, just have been hanging mm. out in Pardon their me. little ranger or tower. Don't. So Raider Punk is great for this because he sits at his little radio and I've got him uh, hanging out here in the Cryptid Hunter's outfit with a clean ski outfit hat. Um, and then this is my little desk where I fill out my little reports and take my field notes and little magazine rack here, which is of course full of backwoodsman's and scout's life gotta have those and lots of you know little details like the fish um this is a fun trick you can actually hang the uh firefly jars from one another you can chain these up and um one after another and it looks really nice uh, at night especially so i really wanted this to be a place that was cozy we've got some bones hanging from the ceiling just some place that felt like I would want to hang out in real life. Um, had that kind of Pioneer Scout feel. When you come outside, as I said, you can see this really amazing view, uh, especially when the bombs drop. It's pretty incredible that you can see the, the nukes really well. Uh, this is really serving no function at all, except for the fact that I really wanted to have Raider Punk uh, have a, uh, a satellite dish. And so this um, solar panel is completely for that. It doesn't actually power any other lights or anything in the building. And we've got some more supply crates, got some new flora, and I just bumped out a little uh, little rooftop garden here just to grow some food and, you know, make it look kind of similar to some of the other uh, ranger towers in the game. Really bummed that we can't access those little, uh, little planters. Those are really cool. So coming down the tower now, if you go back across the river, I've got a little fishing spot here. And the new 
log cabin set is really fantastic. So I just upgraded my build with those and I feel like it just really makes the whole thing feel like a campground or a park rangers building. Here at the end, um, I have our little first aid uh, room here using one of the Helvetia flags. Um, I was able to fit my somehow was able to just travel through a door there. That's a fun trick. Um, I was able to fit my decontamination shower and the symptomatic in one room, which was fun. So that's your sort of first aid station if you're out hiking. Of course, help yourself to a refreshing Nuka-Cola and uh, gotta have your Pioneer Scout poster. And I love these bear proof trash cans. They, I just feel like they really make it look like it's a, a national park site. Inside, I was able to fit all four of my uh, vending machines in a two uh, by one floor, thanks to the handy mat trick. So you can see that underneath every one of these is one of those mats, and it was a lot of work, but I was able to actually squeeze all of these in together. And of course, we have our first aid. Hike is all the, uh, the clothing and armor. Hunt is weapons and ammo. And over here I have camp, which is all my plans and then unique junk for people to decorate their camps. And then of course, for those of you who might be lost and want to find where you're located, I've got the camp location uh, identified on this little map here. And uh, yeah, it's just a, a really beautiful spot and a, a cozy feel and just the sort of camp that I enjoy hanging out with. Uh, so really wanted it to, to be a place that I liked spending lots of time myself. The one negative thing, I'm going to throw this in here just as a word of caution, you might see now this little floor base here that has been stuck with me since the beginning. I set it down in the water just to kind of set it to the side when I was trying to find the right angle to build out onto the water. And it was so low that I wasn't able to get it out again. So when I try to access it during the build screen, you can see things will snap to it don't do that. You don't want to do that. Uh, but I can't grab it. I can't pick it up no matter where I go. And I tried going underneath the floor uh, or sort of, um, you know, using the stair trick to go below the actual ground surface into the underground. And there's just no accessing that thing. So you can only see it some of the time when the light's just right. Um, I kind of pretend to myself that maybe it's like a floating dock or something, but it drives me crazy and is the only kind of downside to what I think is an otherwise pretty nifty build. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, and uh, I encourage you to get out there and build yourself a ranger tower and and uh, have fun kind of embracing the, the outdoorsy side of Appalachia. So thanks for watching.